Today we are putting a new intake on the Denali. Old one is a little beat up and I don't like it. I could have easily ordered a cold air intake off eBay, but this one, I like the factory style one, it's sealed and everything. So we had one that is off of that truck. We had one that was, like I said, off of that truck because they put a cold air intake on that one. So we're going to take their stock intake cold air intake and we're gonna put it on the truck and hopefully I'm just trying to get this to nice daily driver status keep it nice clean simple and uh, I think the main thing I'm gonna do is put the factory intake on I may get a new uh, intake manifold like a TBSS put some 706 heads on it it's got the stock 317s put some 706 heads on it I just you know go over all that put new gaskets on it and everything but yeah let me get it done and I'll show you what it looked like uh, before all right this is the stock one that came off they are the exact same as you see but this one you know a little beat up and everything side by side comparison as you see that's broke off there and broke off there it doesn't even seal right there but this one nice clean factory one I mean, you get by with this one, of course, but this one was already here, and it was free, so we're just going to throw this new one on. So let me show you what the inside looked like. So this is what the inside was looking like. Young and dumb. I cut all that out. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was doing there. I wish I wouldn't have done it, but anyways, this is coming out, and um, it just really pulls out. So, oh, also the screen math math yeah took the screen out been running great throwing no codes and everything so we're gonna do that and we're probably gonna switch this out because I don't like that kink and I cannot get that kink out and uh, so yeah so as I was taking that out that broke off that is supposed to be one with this I will never do nothing like that again hopefully not in my life yep this was supposed to come off hole but it didn't so we're gonna just clean that out and then pop the new one in once again a good side by side comparison see what I did I mean I wouldn't do this because I'm pretty sure that's you know the filter just gets filthy so thank God this one is here and I just got to take this part off right here and attach it there and we're gonna slap the new one on you see how I ate up mine is that is rough son that is rough uh this one is a lot nicer so all right see this is his stock filter that he had and i kind of like this one because it's firmer and it's got the metal i mean i'm sorry it has the rubber guard all the way you know around it it just seems a lot firmer uh, i cleaned it out i'm gonna pop that in we got the the bottom of it in and we're trying to figure out something with the top because I'm missing a piece, but we'll get to it. I don't know if y'all can hear me because the air conditioning unit is on. But anyways, we have this all wrapped up. We have the new old OD, o -O -E, old E, yeah, I like that. Old original parts. We have that on and I had to use this one, this, the stock. Uh, whatever you call it because I like this one because it only had eh, I still had it I was about to say I like it because it only has this going on and so it would just go in like so uh, that part would go to your uh, throttle body intake this part would go to the outside of it in a mass airflow sensor and I like this because it just looks a lot simpler but see this has all the bins and everything in it so would have looked like i'll try to use that as a comparison see how much bigger that is and then it extends out like that for some reason instead of just going straight here and back but the only problem that i came across was this part was missing from it i guess it was like a little rubber guide or something but i have to pop this that off of the original one or probably just get a new one but anyways we got all that situated 
So I'm about to drive it and see how it drives. And I had to get one of those, the reservoirs. I got this one off eBay, $25, $28. And you know, the low coolant sensor, this comes on because the sensor is built into the reservoir. So do not order the eBay one. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> the eBay one, it worked for three days and the little sensor went out. I said bump it. I know there was coolant in it and just look how nasty and everything has gotten. So I'm getting a new reservoir, getting a new radiator because I need a radiator because it's got a leak in it and I always have to fill it up. So we're going to get that situated, be on our way and clean up the engine bay a little bit. So, yep. All right, right now I'm driving the truck. I don't know if it changed the drive. I mean, I don't know if it really did anything. I want to say it's driving better, but maybe that'll help with some gas mileage or something. I mean, you know gas prices nowadays. I will say that uh, that was supposed to take like 10 minutes and it ended up taking me about 20 minutes to do it. Like the truck, it, uh, I don't know. I guess I just want to keep the stock, you know, try to keep it as stock as possible with, you know, stuff like that. So, the, like I said, the plan that I got for it is to get the, the you know, the new intake, the Trailblazer SS intake, 90 millimeter throttle body, and get some heads, you know, cleaned up, shaved down. Well, not shaved down, but just like decked, I guess. Just get them surfaced. Just get the head surfaced. Wow, I hope that was not a cop. <laughs> but anyways, get the head surfaced and new valve springs. And I don't think I'll change the cam in it. That's the plan with the truck. A nice cruiser, then throw some paint on it. I like these wheels that are on it, but I guess get a meteor tire and you know change the suspension parts here and there and just make it a nice cruiser get a new headliner you know it's got 316,000 miles on the stock 60 stock trans so put an external trans cooler on it and just try to keep everything cope aesthetic because i like the truck oh and i put new shocks on the back of it new air shocks and the service air rod is still on so i got to get that situated and it they're really 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 stiff and um, i'm pretty sure if i haul something it'll tow great not too much squatting or anything so it'll be nice but yeah that install like my hands are filthy so it was it, 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 it was easy but you know i Try to make the most of what what I got. That'll be it for this video. Get home, take a shower. Hopefully, new uploads will be coming pretty soon. So yeah, we'll get to it. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that.